first new tag I'm going to show you is the aligning tag. This allows you to align the heading so it's in the middle of the web page. You could do this by going to the H1 tag, pressing spacebar, then typing in align equals speech marks center. And you'd have to add it here, but just make sure you add it to the beginning. That should then allow the he heading doc tutorials to be in the middle of the screen. To test it out, you could save it, save as, do exactly the same as before, put HTML, save, load it up, and you'll see now the heading is in the middle of the screen. Let's close that. Okay, keep going. Now Right, you could also align it to the left, just simply put left in. Or, if you want to align it to the right, put right. I'll just leave it centre. Now, the next tag I'm going to show you is how to change the background colour of, of the body. All you have to do is go to the body tags, type in BG colour color which stands for background color speech marks then put in say yellow and close it off and then you click file save as html save okay load, load it up and now you'll see that the web page is yellow pretty simple Now another tag that you could use is the href attribute. Now what this does is allows you to create a HTML link. Um, choose where you're going to put it. I'll put it under hello. And then you do the more than sign. Then put in a. Oops, not capital letters. A space href equals speech marks and then you enter the link of the website you want to use in here I'm going to use my YouTube account as a link then you close it off with the less than sign and then you put in whatever you want to call it I'll call it YouTube this is what it'll, the user will see in your web page then you close it off with the anchor tag more than forward slash a less than. Then to see what it looks like, save it, load it up, then it'll look like this, YouTube. Then you click on it, and take it here. So it works. Now as you saw, that opened that opened in the same page as your web page. If you want it to open in a blank page, you'll have to add target equals speech marks underscore blank and close off the speech marks. Now this will open it in a blank page so you can keep your web page and the HTML website web page that you decided to include. When you load it up, it'll open on a different web page. So you've still got both this web page and that one. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you last time is that you don't have to use a notepad. You can use a H live HTML editor, but notepad is recommended if you want to become a proper website expert. Now if you like I'll show you how to make frames but let's start a new pad. New and call it 
tutorial too. Now this allows you to create frames. So if you want, uh, if you want to split up your web page in different sections, start off with HTML again. Close it off with HTML, and then in here you put in frame set. Whoops, I forgot to add the one at a time frame set space. So you can add calls if you want columns or rows if you want rows. Well, I'll leave us columns for now. Equals speech marks. Then you enter the percentage that you want the screen to split, be split up into. So if you want 25% and the percent, and then you want to split the rest of it in whatever's left, what percentage is left over, just add star percentage sign, and then close it off with another speech mark. And then the less than sign. Then in here, you could add, you could choose which pages you want to be displayed in which columns. All you have to do is the more than sign, frame, space, S R C, which is sh short for source, equals speech marks. Then you write in the name of the other web page that you want to use in this tutorial. So it's called tutorial. So I put tut Oriel dot html close it off and now I don't have another one so I just rename it anything something dot html then close it off now I'll add another one even though I don't have that much or something else dot html and then you close it off with another frame set tag. Frame set. I mean, and a forward slash frame set. Then the frame file. Save as tutorial two. More files. Dot HTML. Save. Then load it back up again. Then you'll see it's been split in screens. This is the one that we chose, which is tutorial.html. Then, since something.html and something else.html didn't exist, you'll just get this. The web page cannot be displayed. Cannot display the web page. And then, and this is a pretty simple way to split up all your screens. Your screen. If you don't want it to be resized by the Viewer, then you could add the no resize tags. Let's close this. What we do is add go to be go between frame and SRC and add no, whoops, not capital letters, no resize equals speech marks, no resize plus speech marks. And then you could add this to all frames, but we leave it like that. Then, this you're not going to be able to move about, but this you'll still be able to move about because we didn't change this. And this is stuck. Now, if you want to add color rows, you can just add another. Frame set tag, Oops. frame set tag with rows. Then I'll split it 50, 50, and then I'll just do the same as I did here. Frame src equals random .html. Random.html. Close it off. And then you have to add another frame set closing tag. Since you've got rows and column. File. Save as. 
save and then the screen will split, be split up into four as you can see you can't resize it since you can't resize this one and you still resize this one now. then you could use this as your toolbar if you like and then get rid of some of them use this as the location bar if you want so there you have it I think I'm running out of time so keep in touch and you'll soon find some more videos